Hey Fox fans, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out, we got the Adventure Forest Crossbow. Yeah, it is just called Crossbow, right? With other names in the Adventure Forest line like a Villainator or a Spectrum or something like that. It's just called Crossbow, it's just called what it is. So, I don't know, I, I wish I could come up with a cooler name than Crossbow for it or they came up with a cooler name from Crossbow. But still, it's, hey, the Adventure Force crossbow, nonetheless. So let's get into this thing, because this thing is, um, it, it's not my first crossbow that I've had, but it's my second. I had another Nerf crossbow. I'll pull it up here. I mean, I only use it a few times, and, you know, I like the blasters that are a little something different than the standard blaster, right? So I was like, okay, let's pick this thing up and kind of see how it performs. It claims to shoot up to 100 feet, so it must shoot decently hard, right? And I definitely wanted the red dot scope up here um, because I didn't have one of those from the Adventure Force line. And trying to find one of these that fit the Adventure Force uh, kind of tactical rail there is, is kind of hard to find. So that's why I wanted to pick this because I didn't have one. So let's hop right into this. But before we do, you guys definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already and get it on the giveaway. If you guys want to win a Spectrum, check that thing out right there, right? The Spectrum, you guys already know my my thoughts on that thing that thing is a beast so let's hop right in let's take a look at the box let's take a look at the front of it you know coming in the box the box is actually pretty it's a pretty thick box nonetheless when you look at it you're like wow that's a lot of box like that's a lot of box for that thing and you know it has a lot of accessories with it it really uh kind of talks about that red dot scope at the top you know it comes with 20 darts it comes with the flip clip it comes with the little handle piece which you don't have to use but i would highly recommend you use it so you know you look at it and you're like wow man not too bad and uh you flip it around to the back boom kind of goes over it a little more gives a little more of a kind of complete feel to it when you look at it on the back kind of talks more about the flip clip um, how you prime the blaster, you know, what you're putting on it, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, the red dot scope up there. Um, you know, the box, again, I'll probably end up throwing it away. It's nothing special. You know, I only keep some of the special boxes that I like. This one's just kind of your standard, but still not too bad, right? Now, looking at the actual blaster itself, I mean, it's not too bad. Check that thing out. It's compact. It's tight. It kind of reminds me of just a little mini crossbow, right? In a sense, keep in mind that, yeah, this kind of mech, you know, the... The strings up here and everything have no bearing on um, performance whatsoever. It is all there for looks. In essence, you could take this off, this whole mechanism here, and pretty much you have just a standard blaster where you pull it from the top and you fire. But it still adds a cool look to it. Look at that. I mean, when you come around the corner and you got a crossbow, I mean, that, you know, maybe if it's shot two or something like that, I think it would be, be cool, like a double crossbow or something. Anyways, I first want to start off with, again, the, you know, the top tactical rail here, because this is the main reason why I got this. So... If you guys take a look, the red dot scope up here is actually kind of cool. Um, one of the things that I noticed about it, though, is my red dot is not in the center by any means. It's actually way down below. So really, if you were to kind of aim and use the red dot inside it, you would, I would be way off target. It does take two AA batteries, which go right in the front. And yeah, it slips right on. Boom. You guys check it out. Slides right on the top. And it actually doesn't, it doesn't impede anything. And it has kind of that little red kind of a little red cross at the bottom, but when you turn it on, you can see that little red dot in there. Not too bad. Again, that was one of my main reasons for getting this because I didn't have one of those already. So uh, another thing to note, guys, about the top rail is it is uh, kind of your standard Adventure Force top rail, top tactical rail. So things like um, kind of the Nerf modulus stuff and your Nerf type attachments will not fit. Nerf uses a kind of a, a more thin type top tactical rail mount comparison to uh, some of the Adventure Force line stuff that uses more of a wider, a, a quote unquote, Picatinny size rail. You know, like a, like a real red dot scope or a, a normal scope on there, it will fit. And that's one of the things I liked about this is if you want to get a, you know, quote unquote, a better red dot scope comparison to something like this that might be a little too chunky for you, no problem. You could throw it on top there and you could use it. This might be a little chunky for some people to actually use. But nonetheless, I like it because I can use it on some of my other Adventure Force blasters. Now, it does come, of course, with two clips, or two 10-round magazines, whatever you want to call them. And the main thing here about some of the Adventure Force line is they have what's called the flip clip. So you can just kind of clip them both together, and you, 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 know, you, you pump out 10 rounds, and then you flip it over, put it in, you pump out another 10 rounds or you know, whatever you have. You know, it's it's kind of cool. One of the things I, I just don't like about the flip clip is it extends the mag pretty far. So you got 20 rounds and, you know, I get you save a little bit, but it's just for me, when you get upwards of like 20 or 18, kind of like this Nerf Elite 2.0 one here, 
it's it's just too big. It just sticks way far down and it's kind of in your way. I get scared I'm gonna hit it on something when it's that big. I mean, look at that. It is way down there. Maybe you can hold it or something, but it's just too much in my way. So anything over 10 rounds, um, the six round magazines fit great in there. Anything over that was just a little too much for me. I, you know, you guys know me. I always prefer to use a drum mag and gosh, I think my last video, I didn't talk about this, which is kind of crazy, but the drum mag for me, so this is 30 and it see how far it does. It does not stick down that far. I mean, sure it's far, but it's nothing in comparison to like an 18. It sticks down another four or five inches. So I'm able to get a lot more rounds here and kind of use this thing just all day long and kind of get that higher capacity. But again, it is completely up to you guys. Another thing to note is I tried, I wanted to see if this can shoot half length darts. I figured, hey, why not? So of course the Nexus Pro, I tried their little adapter here. The normal magazine works just fine. So I was like, let me try the, uh, the half length dart magazine. Now it does fit in there, but unfortunately trying to get it to go, it just does not shoot. I was, I was way too excited when I tried this hoping. And I did try a couple different uh, types here. So I couldn't get any of them work. I was, I was just, again, way too excited thinking, oh man, this is going to be awesome. But unfortunately it did not work. Now the handle is, is kind of a two piece handle, right? You have to slide it on there. And when you slide it on there, it's not going to come back off. You don't have to put it on there, but the thing is, is how would you shoot this thing? Or how would you grip it without it? That's the biggest thing. And the trigger is not that bad. It's a very light kind of trigger, not too terrible, right? Like some of these heavy blasters that you see. So, you know, the feel looks great depending on, again, which, you know, magazine or whatever it is you guys have in there. I think the, um, I think that the 10 round magazine just standalone is about the perfect height, right? I don't want to go too much more than that, having it sticking way out. So I can't really stick around a corner or I'm going to hit it on something. I think that the 10 round is fine. The six round is even better. Now, yes, this does come with 20 of the, uh, kind of the distance darts. You guys will notice with the distance darts, they have kind of the more, I don't know, pointy type tip instead of the flat tips, like some of the other stuff. But you can see here, you know, I kind of put it up against some of the other kind of standard um, rounds you see nowadays, right? With the waffle heads and the round tips and some of the Adventure Pro or the uh, Nexus Pro stuff. I mean, I mean, I shot really all of these out of here. I probably shot maybe again, 300 rounds out of this thing. I really like it. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to beat the waffle heads nowadays. It's very, very hard. These things are just consistent and true. I actually been shooting the um, the Nexus Pro stuff, and this stuff is actually really really good. My number one overall, of course, is the bamboo stuff, but it is usually a little bit smaller. But the waffle heads, I mean, I these things are just always straight and true all the time. I did notice a little bit of curvature and everything when it comes to um, kind of these distance starts for from Adventure Pro. But again, maybe it's just me. The waffle heads and the Adventure Pro stuff are usually my number one and number two. So let's take a look at me shooting this particular blaster here. So you can see, I mean, again, it's not a speed shooting blaster by any means. I mean, pretty much as fast as you can pull that back and push it forward, you can shoot. And I wish the, the top priming handle there was a little bit bigger or maybe on the side or something. It's just, it's just a little, uh, it's, it's, it's just a little small. So maybe I might 3d print something, make it bigger, make it stand out more. I don't know, make it do something a little bit different than, um, what's on there now, because yeah, what's on there now is just a little too small, but I could still get a good, you know, good firing rate out of there. And then of course you got the flip clip. So once you're done, you just, you know, boom, you just push the button, flip your clip around, throw in another 10 rounds and you're good to go. As far as FPS, this actually didn't do too bad, right around about the 90-ish FPS mark, somewhere right in there. Um, some of them were hitting a little bit quicker. And the Adventure Force stuff tends to hit right around there, which I was like, okay, you know, this thing can't be shooting like 110. That'd be crazy. I was figuring right about 90. But overall, this thing rocks, guys. I, I like any type of little blaster that, um, right, is something different than your normal blaster to where, you know, you just, you just, you just got something different. I like crossbows and things like that. I'm not a huge fan of the big, huge bows. Those are kind of like, eh, the little small crossbows are kind of cool. I really wish it would have had the, um, the back extension, uh, maybe so I could pop on something like this from like the villainator. That would have been awesome to give it a little more grip back here. Cause right now, look at this. I mean, it's, you know, I'm tucked in, <laughs> I'm tucked in pretty far right here. So I don't know. I wish it would have had a little bit of an extension, but overall, I mean, not too bad. It's, 
a cool blaster, super cheap, and I get some pretty cool accessories from it. Again, the big one I wanted here was, of course, the scope. Anyways, guys, definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. If you guys have picked it up, I'm curious. I mean, did you guys make modifications to this thing? What did you do? What did you buy it for? Was it the red dot scope? I'm very curious because that's what I got it for. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Thanks again, Fox fans.